December 31st, our Holy Mother Melania the Roman. Born in Rome of devout and very wealthy parents, she was forced by them to marry a young nobleman, Pinion. She was taken very seriously ill in giving birth to her second child and told her husband that she would be healed only if he vowed before God to live with her in future as brother and sister. Her husband agreed, and Melania, in her deep joy, was healed. When it pleased God to take both children to himself, they agreed to sell all their possessions and give the proceeds to the destitute, the church, and the monasteries. They traveled through many lands and cities, everywhere doing good works. They visited famous spiritual guides in Upper and Lower Egypt and received much instruction and inspiration from them. During all that time, Melania lived in strict fasting, fervent prayer, and the reading of the Holy Scriptures. She followed the practice of reading the Scriptures right through the Old and New Testaments every three years, living with her husband as with a brother and fellow ascetic. Going to Alexandria, they received the blessing of the patriarch, St. Cyril. After that, they went to Jerusalem and settled on the Mount of Olives. There, St. Melania became an anchoress and gave herself completely to pondering, fasting, and prayer. She lived thus for fourteen years, after which she came out to help others to salvation and founded monasteries for men and women. At the invitation of her kinsman, the senator Volusianus, a pagan, she went to Constantinople and brought him to the Christian faith. She then returned to the Mount of Olives, where she went to God in 438 at the age of 57. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art ever present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, the Holy Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now In thee the image was preserved with exactness, O Mother. For taking up thy cross thou didst follow Christ, and by thy deeds thou didst teach us to overlook the flesh, for it passes away. But to attend to the soul, since it is immortal. Wherefore, O righteous Melania, thy spirit rejoices with the angels. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled, and word shall I now pour forth unto the Mother and Queen. And I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. O Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. 
Through the brightly beaming praise of Melania, thy saint, O friend of man, cleanse me and make me to shine who am darkened in every way with the darkness of my passions, and inspire me with the word as I honor her. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Fervently following after him that willingly endured the cross for thee, O all-blessed Melania, Thou eagerly bears thy cross upon thy shoulders and keeps his statue. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Thou, being of a godly mind, didst turn wholly away from attachment to parents and the voluptuousness of the flesh, yearning only for the beloved beauty of Christ, whom all things that have reason desire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Casting off the heavy yoke of carnal cohabitation, thou didst persuade thy yoke mate both to bear upon his neck the divine yoke with thee, and to walk in the way that leads to the immaterial mansion. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that is rich, becomes poor, making me rich with divinity when I was miserably made poor because of mine intemperance. And behold, the beginningless receives a beginning, born and now of a maiden, the child of God. Not in wisdom and strength and riches do we boast, but in thee, O Christ, the anipostatic wisdom of the Father. For there is none holy save thee, O friend of man. O Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Keeping aloof from the propensity towards things below, glorious Melania, with all godliness thou gavest the holy propensity of thy will to that which alone abides forever. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Whether speaking or keeping silent, thou gavest counsel, being a support to the unstable and a pattern for nuns. O all glorious Melania, wherefore we praise thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou hadst set thy senses in good order through much earnest prayer, thou becamest holy like unto light through the rays of the Spirit, rivaling while in the body the life of the bodiless host. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that by an act of will wrapped the heavens with clouds is willingly swaddled as a babe by the hand of a virgin, plucking me out of the hand of the adversary. Performing thy God's commands, thou gavest unto the poor, dispersing thy boundless wealth of gold, O wise and august, Melania, beloved of God. And when thou in faith didst take thy cross on thy shoulders, with thy yoke me thou didst follow after Christ's Saviour, our only God, who for our sakes was crucified in the flesh. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, ye faithful, let us see where Christ the Saviour has been born. Let us follow with the kings, even the Magi from the east, unto the place where the star directs the journey. For there the angels hosts sing praises ceaselessly. Shepherds in the field offer a fitting song, will sing glory in the highest to him this day born within the cave. From the pure virgin and Theotokos in Bethlehem of Judea. Seated in his holy glory upon the throne of divinity, Jesus, the Most High God, comes with mighty hand, and with his uncorrupt arm has saved those who cry, Glory to thy power, O Christ. O holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Since thou hadst put to death the loss of the flesh with temperance, O all venerable Melania, thou hadst the life of all dwelling within thee, and when thou wast translated unto him from the earth, 
thou mayst thine abode with him, enjoying the kingdom of heaven. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. By distributing the innumerable multitudes of thy gold unto the poor, thou truly lays it up in the treasures that never wax old, and it preserves for thee an enduring sufficiency forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The riches of thy sympathy became as a river, watering the whole need of every pauper, washing away the blot of beggary, and procuring for thee, O celebrated Melania, wealth in the heavens not plundered or spent. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since I stoop to the stirring of the passions like an unreasoning beast. I, a reasonable creature, am compared unto the cattle. But thou who gavest birth unto the eternal word, disdain me not to perish forever. The ungodly shall not see thy glory, O Christ. But waking at dawn out of the night, we hymn the only begotten one who lovest mankind. Thou fulgence of the glory of the Father's divinity, Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. When thou hast completely scraped off from thy soul the misshapen images of the passions, O Honorable Melania, with the colors of abstinence, thou didst paint upon it freedom from passion and unfeigned love. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for Being us. Being like a far shining mirror, thou reflects the radiant emanations of the Spirit of God, O August and glorious Melania, and thou hast enlightened the faithful with the brightness of thy love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Quenching with confidence the conflagration of the past. Passions, thou didst kindle thy soul's beacon fire, which all thy life long did shine with splendor, and thrust back the darkening of the demons. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In a cave of Bethlehem the Virgin has given birth unto God Emmanuel, and he opens Eden, which was shut up against me in time past, because of surfeiting in food and a serpent's deceit. I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, O Lord. Thus cries the church unto thee, for by the blood that flowed from thy side because of thy compassion, she has been cleansed of demons' gore. O holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Thou hast passed dry through the swelling sea of life, wherefore, without singing in the deep, thou hast cast anchor in a waveless harbor, and enjoys the true calm, most celebrated Melania. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. With the sparks of thy warm desire towards the Lord, the fiery darts of sin were burned up, every one, and the villainy of the demons was destroyed with utter ruin. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy mind, deified through union with God, unyoked itself from friendship with the flesh at the behest of the Almighty, to which end thou bearest the pains of asceticism, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord, born of a virgin, makes me divine. He is wrapped in swaddling clothes to effect the loosing of mine offenses, and in a cave is contained he whom nothing can contain. Being illumined in thy soul with the bright rays, of him that shone forth unto us from a virgin, with virtues was the brilliant allotted one. For having dispersed on earth thy corruptible riches, thou didst store up for thyself greater riches in heaven, and in ascetic labors thou didst shine. And so, Melania, with longing we honor thee. Fleeing from the world's delights, thou didst richly disperse the myriads of thy gold coins, piously putting them into the hands of paupers. And passing through the divine places, thou becamest all things to all men, leading the life of an angel and providing their wants to all. And with the oil of well-doing, thou madest the lamp of thy soul radiant, and didst enter with Christ into the divine bride chamber, taking delight in his kingdom. Hence, O Melania, with longing we honor thee. Hence, O Melania, with longing we honor thee. O all him, Lord 
God of our fathers, who saved the children of Abraham in the fire, slaying the Chaldeans whom justice rightly overtook, blessed art thou. O Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Bearing with thy yoke, mate, the yoke of Christ, O God bearer, you tilled our souls with the plough of prayer, and having cultivated the field of good deeds, you delight in the glory on high unto the ages. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Like a psalmic olive tree planted in the house of God, O righteous Melania, with the oil of thy labors thou mystically makes cheerful the face and heart of them that faithfully extol thy struggle. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. After quenching the furnaces of the passions with the bedewing of abstinence, O Melania, thou made seas of healings to gush forth from the shower of thy prayers, washing away in their floods the unwantonness of sufferings, from those who honor thee. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. David called thee a fleece that received the heavenly rain, O pure one, which dried up the torrents of iniquity and watered the minds of the faithful, parched by sin. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bore. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth indeed, and he has gathered all the world which cries out and chant. Ye works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. O Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Since thou had made thy heart and body to be a temple of the transcendently divine Trinity, thou didst raise up divine houses, O admirable Melania, wherein thou didst gather the orders of virgins and choirs of monastics, who with one accord praise and glorify Christ unto the ages. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Shining with understanding, manliness, sober-mindedness, and divine righteousness, thou had that exalting humility which exalted thee to the height of heaven, wherewith thou didst cast down the vaulting serpent, O righteous Mother, Wherefore we honor thee as truly victorious. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Through mercy thou didst obtain mercy, thou didst disperse, thou didst give to the poor. Thy righteousness abides unto the ages, and the gain that comes to thee from it shall never wax old, O righteous and God-bearing Melania. Thou boast of them that ever acclaim thee in faith. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. A wild billow of passions troubles me, the deep of despair tosses me about. Save me, O all blameless mother, and I shall be saved, for thou brought forth the Lord and Saviour, who was born in a manger as a babe, whom we supremely exalt unto all the ages. If by the disease of disobedience brought in the curse, but thou, O virgin Theotokos, by the blossoming of thy childbirth, hast blossomed forth the blessing for the world, wherefore we all magnify thee. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. Thou hast verily ascended to the height of art of perfection, O blessed Melania. Thou hast reached the orders of incorporeal angels, and passing over unto that which is truly to be desired, thou hast now laid hold upon the source of good things. Wherefore we all call thee blessed. Holy Mother Melania, pray to God for us. With the choirs of ascetics thou makes Mary, having labored in asceticism and slain the passions, and thou beholds with face and veil the splendor of God, the manifestations of which thou hadst before possessed, O sober-minded and all-celebrated Melania. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By walking the narrow path thou hast attained unto the broad expanse of paradise where there is the joy of them that keep festival, wherein is planted a tree of life, and thou continually remembers us who celebrate thy falling asleep. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that awesomely rides upon the backs of the cherubim is now enthroned in a pure maiden's arms. He is wrapped in swaddling clothes and breaks the cords of our evils, and as a babe he is fed with milk, who nourishes all things that have breath. Melania, who art praised of all, who art the pride and boast of nuns, 
by interceding with Christ God, cleanse me and render me shining, stain both in body and in soul with passion's grievous darkening. But help me that with radiant joy I may extol thee and honor thy brilliant feast with all splendor. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May he who was born in a cave and lay in a manger for all salvation, Christ, our true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of the holy, venerable Melania the Younger of Rome, with the prayers of St. Theophilact, Archbishop of Ochrid, with the prayers of Saints Lochen and Enda, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. But the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.